last uh, session one of the week. It's week 13. We're closing in on the end of the semester. So hopefully you're feeling good, you're feeling strong, you're well. And uh, today's workout is a combination workout. And the combination just simply means that um, we're gonna combine some exercises into one movement. So um, I will go slowly through the first round and then we will uh, attack the second round, okay? So let's go ahead and begin our warm up. Chest expansion. Connect your breathing with your movement. Putting your arms down, we're going to reach over the top, so just a little slight bend, like a mini mermaid here, just nice and easy. Just awakening this rib cage area, thoracic area, obliques, and down into cat and cow. Again, Connect your breathing with the movement, tilting the pelvis up and under. Seated position. We're going to do our circles, leg circles in a seated position today. We've done this before. So just slightly leaning back, lifting one knee, keeping it bent, circling. Reverse. Switch legs. Good. Come on down, bring your legs with you for your 100 exercise. Lower the legs slightly and begin. Remember, we're flipping our arms over every five. Again, just go ahead and rest. <clears throat> so the first exercise is single leg combined with double leg. So we're just going to alternate between the two. Just a traditional single leg into a traditional double leg with the arm sweep. Okay, we're just alternating. So it's going to look like this. Knees are in, head and shoulders up. I'm going to single leg, double leg. Here we go, begin. Single, gentle pull on the knee, double. Single, make sure we're scooping, chin to chest, breathing. Just 
warming up one more. Good. And rest. The next exercise is crisscross with straight legs. So the exercise will be with our hands behind our neck. I know that right now we're in stacked crisscross, but because we're combining this with single straight, um, we're gonna make sure that our hands stay behind our neck. Uh, the single straight, the legs do the work, and the crisscross, we're reaching across the rib cage, okay? So go ahead and bring both legs up. Let me demonstrate this. Head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck, when I drop my right leg, I'm going to reach across my left leg with my right arm. Bring it back, reach across, bring it back. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. We need to slow this down. It's very methodical, very controlled. Here we go, drop and reach. Make sure the rear stays on the mat, that drop leg, connect. We're just rotating across so that drop leg really balances us from over rotating good and rest nice that's a good challenging crisscross next is just by itself footwork solo okay remember this is the open leg v we lower the legs we pull the knees in with our toes pointed together okay both legs all the way up head and shoulders up hands behind the neck part the legs lower and v toes together pull bent knees in legs up One more. And rest. Good. Okay, so our bridge, I believe we've done this before. This is a combination with a knee pull into a leg extension into a hip drop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Arms stay at our sides. We're gonna lift our hips. I'm going to pull one knee in, very controlled, into leg extension, hip drop, and lift. Bring this leg down into the other, same exercise with the other leg, and then we'll drop our hips, okay? Here we go. Ready? Up, knee in, leg out, hip drop, and lift and back. Other knee in extension, hip drop, and up, foot down, hips down, good, again, here we go, hips up, knee pull, leg extension, hip drop, up, and down, other knee pull, extension, drop, up, foot down, hips down, one more time. Here we go. Hips, knee, leg, hips, up, down. Switch, knee, leg, drop, up, foot, hips down. Nice. Okay, so next exercise is a roll up into a rollover. So, only if you're able to practice, able to successfully practice the rollover will you do this combination. If you know you cannot do a rollover and maybe even not even do a roll up without assisting yourself, you're going to do rowing at the top. So you can split them up however you want them. You can combine them if you can do a roll up, but you can't do a rollover, you can go right into rowing. 
Otherwise, you're going with me, roll up into roll over, okay? So, slight bend in the knees, arms outstretched, rolling up. Hands back, roll over. Down, up, arms outstretched, roll back down. Again, roll up, roll over, all the way up, roll down. One more time. Roll up. Roll over. Roll down. All right, finish at the top. Roll over or roll up. Last time, finish at the top. Hopefully you were successful with that. Uh, stomach massage, and then we're gonna do add a leg drop. So we've never done this before. It's definitely a strength move. So if you feel like you cannot drop this leg without sacrificing form, I don't want you to do that, of course. So you'll just continue with your stomach massage exercise. Okay, seated balance. So I'm going to extend my legs out, open V, hold it here. I'm gonna leg drop, leg drop, pull it in. So very controlled, slow it down. You don't need to drop the leg too much if you don't need to. Down, down, and in. And out, drop, drop, and in. One more time. Out. Drop. Drop. And in. Good. Legs extended. We have a front stretch combined with a little mini saw. So I'm going to demonstrate this. The saw is going to happen across the extended legs here. So my front stretch, I stretch over the top of my legs. I'm gonna stay down here and reach across, across, center, and pull it back up. Over the top, hold here, cross, across, center, bring it back up. It's okay if you have a rounded back when you're mini saw in <laughs> over the legs. We're just looking for a little diagonal stretch here. One more time. We're gonna lean back on our elbows. Come on down, bring your legs all the way with you, all the way up. All right, chest is high. From here, we are scissor kicking sideways. Down, lowering the legs, and lifting the legs. All right, down. You don't need to go too far down if you don't feel comfortable. And up. We've done this before. And down. Then up. Good. Feet down. Seated table. So this exercise will have a slight lean back on our elbows when our hips come down. So after we lift up into table, we'll bring our hips down just like here, this position here, and then I'm gonna lean back 
bend in my elbows. Okay? All right, here we go. Seated table. Hips down. Lean back. Table. Lean back. Table. Spine stretch, V position. One more. All right, we're gonna turn over to our tummies. Um, we are elevating the swimming. So that means that arms and legs are off the ground. So we've been at legs elevated. We are now going to practice swimming. This is the traditional swimming. So we've been preparing for this all semester. And so what's gonna happen is I'm going to lift my arms and my legs up off the mat at the same time and hold like Superman. And then I'm going to elevate from that starting position, opposite arm, opposite leg. Breathing, it's a very small movement. We are balancing on our trunk here. And then we're gonna rest. Okay, here we go. Lift up, start to lift. Opposite arm, opposite leg, start to increase speed. Good, and rest. So that is our swimming exercise. All right, come up onto your elbows. Up onto your knees. From here, I want you to extend one leg back. So this is called teapot. So I'm going to lean forward onto my forearms with my leg coming back up behind me. I'm going to push and pull my leg down to start. So the transfer of weight is from this starting position tilting forward. Okay, pull it back, tilt forward. So all your weight should be over your forearms. One more. This is teapot, so switch legs, extend the leg, tilt, and back, tilt, and back, tilt, and back, one more, tilt, and back, good, come into low back stretch, and we're going to combine this with a low cobra, <clears throat> so, low back stretch, and we're going to transfer our weight forward, down to the floor, elbows are down, forearms are down, and I'm gonna press up, okay? Keeping my forearms on the ground. Bring my hands back to my chest, push up, and low back stretch. So a lot of tricep work here, shoulder work here. Come forward, come down, Bring your arms forward and press. Push the pelvis down, come down and back. Push up and back. One more time. 
forward and down and up up down and back up and back Kneeling tall. So this is another combination move. So we're gonna combine mermaid with a lean back here, okay? So kneeling tall. Remember our trunk should be nice and tall. We're going to mermaid. Mermaid. Now, we're gonna lean back and reach diagonal across. Come back, other arm, lean back. So I keep my trunk facing forward. I'm just bringing my arm across, okay? Mermaid. Lean back, reach across. Lean back, reach across. One more time. Mermaid. Mermaid. Lean back, reach. Lean back, reach. Good. Okay. Uh, this next exercise, uh, we've never done this before, so it's very much a strength move and we're combining a walk-up pike with a downward dog. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna come into high plank and I'm going to walk my feet up to pike. So my rear is pointed upward. Walk my feet back into plank, into downward dog. Transfer your weight back into the heels. Come back into high plank. Here we go, let's try this. Walk it up. Walk it back. Downward dog. Good. Walk it up. Walk it back. Downward dog. Come back into low back stretch, arms behind you. Take the weight off the shoulders and the arms. All right, table position. We're gonna do some leg work here. So these are rainbow leg sweeps. So in table position, I'm going to extend one leg out and back. And from here, keeping my back nice and stable and tall or flat, I'm going to sweep my straight leg over outside my body and then across my midline. So I'm lifting up and down. So it's a little arc, a rainbow across. So out and across, out and across. Try and stay as centered as possible with your trunk. Control your breathing. Last one. Good, pull this knee in, extend the other leg back. So we're arcing out and across, and out, and across, out, across. All right, bring that leg back in. I'm gonna close the window. down to our side, all the way down, all the way down. So hand not even propped behind the head. 
extended arm here. Okay, bring this hand out in front. Make sure your legs are in alignment with your trunk. We're gonna do a double leg lift and a pause at the top. So keep your feet connected, keep your knees connected, and we're just gonna lift, hold. And down. So abdominals should be nice and snug, nice and strong in our hips. Press the hip down into the mat, breathe and down. Up, hold, and down. Up, hold, and down. Up, hold, and down. So those adductors are really working, really firing. Uh, we're going to do a side push up from here. So simply just bring this hand a little bit closer and we're going to press down and push up. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Down. One last push up and then we'll switch sides. All right, stacked leg lift all the way down. Hand in front and we're lifting and down. Up and down. Place your hand for side push up, push up and down and up and down and up and down. One more, push all the way up, up, good. Seated position, knee hug. We are going to begin again. Um, I'll cue you into the next exercise uh, when I feel like we can uh, double up. Okay, otherwise we're just going to solo uh, second time through. Okay, so just really focus on your breathing at this point. Go ahead and bring your knees with you. We're going to go right into our single leg, double leg combo. Here we go. Scooping, chin to chest, breathing, three important cues. Be present during the second time through. Connect your mind with your movement. Leave the distractions out. One more. Good. All right, rest. Next one is the crisscross with straight legs. Um, and we'll go into footwork after that exercise. Okay. All right, bring both legs up. Head and shoulders up. Hands behind the neck. We're going to drop the leg and reach across. One more each side, and then we will part our legs and go right into footwork. Here we go. Uh, 
last one and then rest. <clears throat> All right, so we have the bridge with the knee pole extension hip drop. All right, here we go. Hips up. We have knee pull extension drop. Knee pull extension drop. Hips down. Here we go, up, in, out, drop, switch, in, out, drop, hips down. One more time, lift up, in, out, drop, and switch, in, out, drop, and in, hips down, good, all right, we have our roll up into rollover, so you know what you're doing, if you're not, uh, you know, obviously if you can't do this, you're doing something different, so roll ups are fine, roll up into rowing is fine, otherwise we have roll up into rollover, all right, uh, we're going to add the jackknife at the end. So if you were able to do jackknife last week, um, that's when we bring our hands to our hips and we'll just extend those legs up and then come back down. Okay, we're just adding the jackknife. All right, arms out stretch. If you wanna straighten your legs, straighten your legs and roll up. Roll over. Jackknife. Down, up, and down. Roll up. Roll over. Jackknife. Down. One more time, up, over, jackknife, and down. All right, we're going to finish at the top. I ran out of wall or space, <laughs> ran into my wall. Okay, from here. We're gonna go into our stomach massage with a single leg drop. Again, if this was way too challenging for you the first time, you're just doing stomach massage, okay? Here we go, seated balance. Open, drop, drop, and close. Open, drop, drop, and close. Open, drop, drop, and close. Good. Okay, front stretch. So we have that front stretch with that little mini saw out front. All right, we're gonna lean back on our elbows. Legs up. We have those scissors, those side scissors, the crosses. Moving down if you can, otherwise just stay up at the top. Just modify when you need to. A lot of legs. 
leg work today. One more time. And forward table. Feet back. Seated table. Lift up. Lean back. Tricep and shoulder work from here on out. One more time. Up. Spine stretch. You guys, we're going to turn over onto our tummies. We have that swimming exercise, arms and legs up elevated off the floor. We'll do two sets of these with rest in between. Here we go, lift up and swim. And rest. swim. And down. Good. On your elbows, on your knees, teapot, leg extended, lean forward, and back. If you need to pull your knee in a little bit more, you can. Forward, Back. So you're just transferring the weight forward, head towards the mat. One more time. Switch leg. One more. Good. All right. Low back stretch into low cobra. So this is where it's really going to burn. Do the best you can. And down. Cobra. time. Good. And come up knee and we'll talk. Whew. <laughs> Arms are fatigued. All right, so we have mermaid into lean back with that diagonal reach. Okay, here we go. Mermaid. Back. 
One more time. into that high plank, walk up pike, into downward dog. Hands down, feet back, walk it up, walk it back, downward dog. Walk pike, walk back, downward dog. down, low back stretch, arms back, Table with leg work. Same exercise as the first time through. Extend that leg back. So arcing, so rainbow over and back. One more. And switch. Leg back. Arc. Over. One more. Come on down to your side, all the way down, arm outstretched, stacked leg lift. If you want, if you're up for the challenge, bring this arm to the hip. Lift up, and down, and up, and down. And down and up and down good side push up and up and down and up and down and down one last push up finish at the top and switch legs, switch sides. And stack, arm on hip if you want the challenge, and lift, and down, and lift, and down, and up, and down, last one. Last one, finish at the top. Good. See the accordions. We're in the final stretch.
All right, legs in front, seated position. So we're gonna practice those figure eights out in front today. So arms are out in front, palms facing down. Eights, hands open, shoulders open, hands closed, shoulders closed. A little bit of a burn because of all the arm work that we did. Stop here, palms facing down, arm pulls, shoulder, chest, height, squeeze the shoulder blades. One more. Good. We hug. legs in front. We're just going to bring our hands back and we're going to push our shoulders back and drop our head, stretching out the front of the shoulder, the chest. Pull the head down and walk yourself back up. Front stretch. To reach across. Reach across. Pull up. One foot over the other leg and we're just going to pull the knee in. We're just going to finish with arms across. And switch. All right, we are done, you guys. Good job today. And I will see you next session. Have a great day.